This exercise has to do with distance, rate, and time. It's also called a motion problem. It's about boating. We're given that a paddle boat moves at a rate of 12 miles an hour in still water. If a river's current moves at a rate of 3 miles per hour, how long will it take the boat to travel 36 miles downstream, 36 miles upstream? Our first step is to familiarize ourselves with the problem. And the first thing I notice is there are two questions to answer. Very important to notice we're asked for two answers. How long it will take the boat to travel 36 miles downstream and how long to travel 36 miles upstream. The other thing that you might look at is that the paddle boat's rate is given in still water and it's going to be in a current. Now if you don't remember how a boat's rate in still water relates to what its rate is in a river with current, you might need to look that up. That would also be part of the familiarized step. I'm going to work both of these situations in parallel. I'm going to look at a downstream situation and an upstream situation. In both cases, we're traveling 36 miles. Um, 30, yes, we're traveling 36 miles, but the rates are not going to be the same and the times are not going to be the same. Since we're dealing with motion, we're going to be using the motion formula D equals RT, or distance equals rate times time. Downstream, we have a distance of 36 miles. We have a rate of, now here's where we need to remember how these rates work. The paddle boat in still water would travel would move at 12 miles per hour and the current is 3 miles per hour. So the rate going downstream would be 12 plus 3 miles per hour or 15 miles per hour. The time we don't know. We'll just call that T. Now upstream we have the same distance. The rate now is a little bit different because the paddle boat is working against the current. So the rate subtract. We have 12 minus 3 miles per hour or 9 miles per hour. And we'll just say t for the time here. Now notice that this t, we have to work these separately. This t is the downstream time and this t is the upstream time. I'm working them, you can work them out separately, but I'm working them in parallel so you can see how similar they are. So we can go to the translate step, and to translate we'll use that equation D equals RT. Downstream we have the distance of 36 equals the rate of 15 times the downstream time. Upstream we have the distance of 36 equals the upstream rate of 9 times the upstream time. To solve for time, we need to solve both of these equations. And that's step three, the solve step. For downstream, I divide both sides by 15, and I get 36 over 15 equals t. Simplifying, I have 12 fifths equals t which is an answer and it's, it's fine except we usually think of hours as how many hours and parts of hours instead of um, in, in a fraction notation. So in mixed numerals this is two and two-fifths hours. So we're going to, we're going to say that we have a, a possible solution of an up, a downstream time of two and two-fifths hours. And before I go to the upstream, it should take longer to go upstream. So hopefully this will be a, a, the time here will be a bigger number. Here dividing both sides by 9, we have 4 equals t. And that is larger than 2 and 2 fifths. So we have a possible solution of 4 hours upstream, 2 and 2 fifths hours downstream. To check the answers, remember our downstream rate was 15 miles per hour. If we have a time of two and two-fifths hours, how much distance will we cover? Well, 15 times two and two-fifths. 
When I multiply with mixed numerals, I need to change to fraction notation. It gives me 15 times 12 fifths, which is 5 times 3 times 12 over 5, or 36 miles. So that checks. In 2 and 2 fifths hours, going downstream, I would travel 36 miles. Upstream, I had a rate of 9 miles per hour and a time of 4 hours. Since we don't dealing with fractions, this should be a little easier. The rate times time is 36. So we would travel 36 miles upstream in 4 hours. So we have a solution. And to state it, I would state clearly both of my parts of my answer. It will take the boat two and two-fifths hours to travel 36 miles downstream and four hours to travel 36 miles upstream.